Marissa, don't you think it would be a good idea to let them keep an eye on you overnight at the hospital? Thank you for your concern, Annie. I'll be fine. What do we need to watch out for? Well, whenever there's a loss of consciousness, I like to see a CAT scan or an MRI. But if you're really insisting on not going in and start vomiting or seeing double or get a headache, I need you to go in first thing in the morning and get some pictures taken, okay? As long as somebody stays with you all night long and checks on you every few hours. Okay? I'll take good care of her. All right. Well, then, we'll say good night, and uh, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Make sure everything's okay. All right. Annie, we'll, we'll talk later. Feel better. You heard what Jake said. She needs to go to a hospital. She has to get an MRI. I mean, AJ's a big boy. If we explain to him that it's for Marissa's well-being, I'm sure he'll feel better about it. I'm not gonna feel better about it. I wanna keep an eye on her. She was attacked in my house. It happened in here. And if I get my hands on whoever did this... Look, I'm, I'm sorry. The reason why I called you over here is I want to tell you something about us. Where is everybody? You guys are late. Missed all the action. Uh, well, we had a burglary assault a delay. That's what happened. Uh, Bert made us move early. It's already downtown. Downtown? That sucks. I mean, we did all the grunt work and we missed the collar? Here. Room's paid up for the night, courtesy of the PVPD. Hang out. Enjoy yourselves. Uh -huh, you're right, Lewis. Yeah, real funny. You know, uh, Lewis may have been joking around, but I was actually thinking the same thing. Uh-uh, we're on duty, uh, huh? Only for five more minutes. The Chandlers took up most of our shift, and the stakeout was going to be overtime. So we're technically saving the department money. Come on, why don't you hang out for a little while? Hey. I missed you. Hi. Oh. oh, I'm sorry that I had to leave earlier. I was really having fun with you guys. I wish you could have made the night of it. Oh, we still can. I got I something I want to tell you. you. Uh, Can I go first? Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to go to Fusion tonight. I went to see Scott Chandler. Last visitor tonight, Chandler. Say, surprise. So is this. I, uh, I hope I didn't freak you out or come across too forward. I tried to tell you what I was thinking and how I felt. So. No offense at all. I just don't usually get flattering letters from guys behind bars. Well, I'm not usually behind bars. And as of tomorrow, I'm, I'm getting out. You sound pretty sure about that. I am. Look, I, I don't even, I don't even know why I came. But you know what they say: all the good guys are married, dead, or in jail. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little bit nervous. Look, who cares about what people say? You don't? I used to. I used to. A lot. But I think it's more important what you think and how you feel about yourself, really. I'm not really too sure about that right now. Come on, I don't believe that. Look, I... I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I just... I. I really enjoyed seeing you. I felt like we had a connection. And, well, I'm getting ready to start a whole new chapter in my life. You know, and you struck me as someone who... Say it. Desperate. No, 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 no. No, no, I wasn't going to say that. Far, far from it. I was going to say a survivor. Well, that's better than desperate. Better than a convict, too. <laughs> Look, I know you haven't had the easiest of lives, all right? I, I know about the death of your first husband. You already told me about your father. Both not exactly princes. I, I don't know what we have in common. 
I was married to Annie. You were shot. So see, right there, that's 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 similar. Oh, you just you know something about starting over, and uh, I could use some tips. Well, you you you've barely scratched the surface. I mean, I, I don't think you really know anything about me or my life at all. Well, I'd like to, but. I doubt there's anything you could share with me that would make me think any less of you. I think you would be surprised. Oh, yeah? Well, surprise me. Because all I see is someone who is beautiful and smart. Just... I'm pregnant. Come on, you have to admit that this is kind of like fate smacking us in the face. A room that's paid for, two people that like each other, that never get enough alone time to get to know each other better. But I hey, just... Let's seize the moment, right? That's what we're gonna do. This, this room is a gift. You, you're my gift. Wait, just a, what wait. Is it? What is it? I just, I can't. I gotta, I gotta go. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know why I said that. Did I mention that I was nervous? Is it true? I shouldn't have come here. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you did. And, and listen, I meant what I said. All right? I really want to get to know you better, no matter, no matter what. But please don't tell anyone. There are a lot of people that don't know. Who does know? I gotta get home. I have a pretty good idea of one person who knows. When Scott asked you about coming to work for you, I started thinking about what really went down with him. You know, he's a, he's a great guy taking responsibility for what he did. Yeah, I mean, I wish there was something that I could do. I know. And then I thought about Stuart and how much he would want someone to help his son. And the hospital isn't regulated by the SEC, so I offered him a job. And I also decided to testify at his parole hearing tomorrow. Wow. I mean, I, I think that's amazing. This is Why would you keep that a secret from me? Well, I wanted to look him in the eyes first, make sure he was sincere. And I guess I just didn't want to blow my own horn, you know, make it look like I'm some do-gooder. You know, doing something nice is, is okay, even if it does mess with your reputation. <laughs> I've been given a second chance in life, Ryan. And I thought by doing the same thing for Scott, I'd be, like, paying things forward. I'm sorry, I should have just told you. You're amazing. <laughs> you are. No. So, what did you want to tell me? I just wanted to tell you that um, I have to go to California for some last-minute business. But I don't have to leave till tomorrow night, so why don't I come with you to the parole hearing and give a little support of my own? I like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tomorrow's taken care of. Why don't we pay attention to tonight? Imagine how scary that must have been for Marissa walking in on something like that. Yeah. Something seems a little odd about it. What do you mean? Ah, uh, she got hit square in the forehead. She doesn't remember anything, or she doesn't remember seeing anything. Uh, Does that happen with concussions? Yeah, but I don't know. There's something. Although, I mean, it could be amateurs or something, somebody desperate enough to try to pull something off like that. I... Yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably right about that. Um, what is it? Well, what happened here kind of changes things. What do you mean? I had a big surprise plan for you, for the two of us. Two first-class airfare to Gestad. I wanted to go skiing in the Alps with you. You and me in the Alps. 
Yeah, but we can't go now. I hope you understand. You were going to take me to Switzerland? Yeah. You said you always wanted to go skiing there. I'm sorry, Annie. Marissa's been through something pretty nasty, and it happened here. I should have beefed up security. You know, there's so many nutcases out there. I just, I can't leave her age alone right now. I hope you understand. <laughs> 